A Rolling Stone Gathers No Moss by Harry Graham, read for LibriVox.org by Iswa in Belgium in July 2016. I never understood, I own, what anybody, with a soul, could mean by offering a stone this needless warning not to roll. And what inducement there can be to gather moss, I fail to see. I'd sooner gather anything, like primroses, or news perhaps, or even wool, when suffering a momentary mental lapse, but could forego my share of moss, nor even realize the loss. Tis a botanical disease, and worthy of remark as such, lending a dignity to trees, to runes a romantic touch, a timely adjunct, I've no doubt, but not worth writing home about. Of all the stones I ever met, in calm repose upon the ground, I really never found one yet with a desire to roll around. Theirs is a stationary roll, a joke, and feeble on the whole. But if I were a stone, I swear I'd sooner move and view the world than sit and grow the greenest hair that ever nature combed and curled. I see no single saving grace in being known as Mussy Face. Instead, I might prove useful for a weapon in the hand of crime, a paperweight, a milestone, or a missile at election time. In each capacity I could do quite incalculable good. When well directed from the pit, I might promote a welcome death, if fortunate enough to hit some budding Hamlet or Macbeth, who twice each day the playhouse fills. For further notice, see small bills. At concerts, too, if you prefer, I could prevent your growing deaf by silencing the amateur before she reached that upper F. Or else, in lieu of half a brick, restrain some local cubelic. Then, human stones, take my advice, as you should always do indeed. This proverb may be very nice, but don't you pay it any heed, and though you make the critics cross, Roll on and never mind the moss. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.